Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have a great Word video today regarding inserting your signature into a Word document. I'm also going to show you how to always have it available so you don't have to always go to insert picture or drag and drop it. Just to be clear, I'm not covering in this video how I created my signature. I'm going to show you that in another video this week, how I made my signature. So let's go discuss putting your signature in a Word document and always saving it for later. So I have this proposal. I'm going to go to the end of the document. And it wants my signature. I can either put it in by going to insert picture this device, which I find sometimes to be the easier way. Go and find your signature. That's method one. I'm going to delete that. Method two, if you look over here to the left, I intentionally did this. There's my signature sitting right here. Just drag and drop it. So that is how you can put your signature into a Word document. Two different methods. And once again, I'll show you later this week how I made that signature. Now, once you've got this signature, if by chance it is extremely large, like there you go. I feel like that's how it looks when I put it in. Always resize it from the corners. Don't resize it over here in the right middle. I'm going to undo that. Don't resize it up here. Always pull from one of the four corners because that'll keep it in proportion. Another tip. By default, when you insert a picture, and the signature is a picture, it is called in line with text. I noticed that I really want my signature to be a little more down on that signature line and maybe even going over it like a real signature. So I'm going to select the picture, picture format. Up at the top is wrap text. I just said everything by default is in line with text and that's the very first option right up there. For a signature, I usually like to do behind text. Now if you're saying, Chris, now your signature is too far down, I can either move it with the mouse but in this example, the signature is selected. I'm hitting the up arrow key on my keyboard right now. I'm hitting the right arrow key. So you can move your signature around with the arrow keys. That looks pretty good. The reason you need that tip right there is occasionally when you're in a document, they may want your signature. I'm making this up right there. Well, do it in line with text. Here we go again. So I act like that signature at the top is not there. Drag and drop, get it, and I try to get it to go here. You're not going to be able to. So I'm going to first resize it a little bit. Same exact steps. Picture format, wrap text. I'm going to put it behind the text. And I usually use the arrow keys from here. And you can see what I'm doing. So there's tip number one is to resize from the corners. Tip number two is to make sure it is behind text using wrap text. Tip number three, I'm going to get rid of this one just to keep a clean screen. Highlight your signature. I want to use this always. This is a cool tip. File. I'm going to go down to options. Third one down on the left is proofing. Auto correct options. Basically, I'm going to come up with a few letters that when I type them in, my signature will always populate in Word. So how cool is that? So here we go. This is my signature. So CM for Chris Menard. S-I-G-N. Again, all lowercase and the number one. Because maybe I've got a second signature. I always do lowercase. And right here is the trick. Word wants to do plain text. You must select formatted text right here. Click on add. So after I click add, every time I type in C-M-S-I-G-N-1, it should put in my signature. Add. OK. One more OK. Get rid of this. Click. I'm down here typing. I don't want to have to go to insert picture. I don't want to have to drag and drop S-M-S-I-G-N-1 space bar. There it is. Click it once, arrow keys or mouse, I don't care, and resize it. So you can make your signature an auto-correct. 
So there are your tips today for Microsoft Word using signatures. In case you're wondering where I'm headed, again, I've already said this, I'm gonna show you how I made that signature. I'm gonna show you how to do it without a scanner because most people don't have a scanner, including me. I don't know, maybe most people do. I don't have one. The second tip I have for you, everything looks great about this signature here, and I'm gonna show you how I do this later. But just a quick preview, my signature looks great, even though it's a JPEG image, because the back of this Word document is white. But what happens when I get a document, I'm gonna make this blue. Now you can clearly tell I didn't really sign that that's an image. So I'm gonna teach you how, look at this signature over here on the left, this is coming up. Drag and drop, do you notice it is a transparent background? Same steps, picture tools, format, wrap text, behind, move it around, resize it, but now it looks good regardless of the background in the Word doc. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions at all about putting the signature into Microsoft Word and creating an autocorrect, please let me know. Have a great day. Thank you.